Beauty Dish. It is time again for my monthly haul. It is my November haul and I am going to be showing you everything I bought and exactly what I spent in the month of November. And I will tell you right now, it's a big one. Um, and I knew it was going to be for a couple of reasons actually. My birthday was on October 29th, so I was planning on making the Sephora VIB sale at the beginning of November, you know, my birthday shopping kind of gift to myself, and I even had a gift card to go along with that. So there was that, and then of course the Black Friday Cyber Monday sales, which I know I am going to spend some money every year because the deals really are great, and to me it's worth it. So that's sort of the context in which you will see all of this, <laughs> all of these purchases. If you haven't seen one of my monthly haul videos before, and I will link the previous ones below, I don't do this to brag, certainly, um, and I don't intend to make anyone uncomfortable by talking about money, but I think it's important to attach some meaning to all of the accumulation of stuff that, that you so often get inundated with if you watch beauty videos on YouTube. There are so many haul videos, and I do haul videos, I have nothing against that, but there's you can kind of get wrapped up in this idea that accumulating more stuff, you know, blindly is normal and is good and is okay, and I kind of like to show how I shop, how I make my decisions, and what I spend. So you actually have a real picture of what's going on here in my <laughs> little beauty life. So let's get started. Usually I just go straight through the month, practically chronologically, of everything I bought, but in this case it's a little different. I've actually shown a lot of my purchases for November for various reasons, so I'm actually going to start with the brand new stuff, which is all of my Black Friday haulage. <laughs> so I definitely took advantage of those Black Friday deals. Um, Sephora and Ulta had some really good ones, and I got some kind of pricey skincare this month for what was really, really a good price. So, starting with Sephora, I got, and let's see, let's go over what I spent first, and I do have to look at my laptop, I'm sorry, there's no way I can remember all of these numbers, but my total for Sephora for Black Friday was $44.75, and I got a Jack Black lip balm, I got an awesome deal on these um, Bare Minerals Pretty Amazing Lip Gloss like they're not really glosses, they are opaque colors, they're liquid lip colors, but these are discontinued, I'm pretty sure, or they're very close to being discontinued, and these are full size, and I got two for ten. Uh, they are regular 16 each, so that was a great deal, and I love them. Back when these first came out, I bought one, um, and I still wear it to this day, it's still one of my favorite products, and I was really happy to be able to get two more for five bucks each. Okay, and then I picked up, um, Sephora had a lot of ten dollar deals, for Black Friday, and I got a little Clarins Duo. It's a toning lotion and an eye makeup remover, and I'm going to be going on a trip to see family and to sort of take a little vacation. Next week we're leaving, actually, and we'll be back, like, right before Christmas, but I thought this would be perfect for my trip, and I kind of wanted to try the Clarins toner anyway. Then I picked up some Bogia blotting papers, little blotting papers, you know, for your oily <laughs> T-zone, and I have, um, I have some of these that I really, really like, and this was only five dollars, so that was nice. Um, I got another ten dollar deal. I got Bare Minerals, um, a little eyeshadow duo. It's the Ready eyeshadow, and this is like a gray, or a silver and a very, very dark gray, and I've, um, Excuse me, I have not had a lot of experience with Bare Minerals products, and I really wanted to try their eyeshadows, and this was a very good value, and you got to get a little sample of their primer, their eye primer, which I um, am looking for an awesome new eye primer, so I was curious to try theirs, so I liked that a lot. And then another $10 deal, the Alterna um, Hair Care 3-pack, this is like a really high-end caviar anti-aging shampoo, conditioner, and CC cream, which is just a, a leave-in hair perfecter, actually. But I really wanted to try the Alterna shampoos just, just to check them out, so that was a good value as well. I think, I think that is all for Sephora. Okay, on to Ulta for Black Friday. I spent $41.52 at Ulta, and I got, down on the floor, I got 
a Hot Tools bubble curling iron. Um, I really wanted to try one of these. This is regularly 50 and it was on sale for 30 and I'm going to try it tomorrow. I'm very excited. I also picked up the Urban Decay Dangerous palette which is full of some really nice jewel toned eyeshadows and a mini lip gloss. So that's nice for only 16 Anyways, continuing on, uh, the last thing for Black Friday, beauty related, that I bought was uh, from Skin Store, which sells, you know, really nice, you know, high end, and, you know, dermatologist type skincare brands. And I got a second bottle of my favorite toner. It's the Exuviance Soothing Toning Lotion, which is regular price, it's 30 and I got the SkinCeuticals Advanced Pigment Corrector, which is a newer product from their line. It's just This is an excellent skincare line, really pricey, um, but I have just read a million great things about this product. I'm always trying to lighten the sort of sun damage that I have around here, and Skin Store had 20% off everything, and you never can find SkinCeuticals at a discount, so that was cool. And then on top of that, I got 14% cash back from Ebates, and I just like live for Ebates these days. And when I calculated all my totals, like the ones from Sephora that I gave you and Ulta, that had already, I had already subtracted the Ebates rebates that I would get. So, and I haven't done that in previous months, so I think I, I, think I should do that because, you know, I'm saving that money. Okay, so that was my Black Friday stuff. Now we're going to kind of go back to the beginning of the month and gloss through a few things because you've seen them already. So you saw my Ipsy bag opening. Here's my Ipsy bag for November. And um, I'll link all the videos that I'm referring to below if you would like to watch them, if you missed them. So that cost $10. I also got the HSN and Total Beauty box, um, which is, it's kind of, it's kind of like a subscription box, but it's not a subscription and you can see what's in the box. It's kind of just a bunch of samples um, from stuff that HSN sells in their beauty section. So I have a whole video showing exactly what was in that box, but it was a pretty good value. It was $20. Next up, my birthday haul, which is my previous video. Um, I uploaded it two days ago, so if you haven't seen yet, seen that yet, check it out. It's a lot of fun stuff from Sephora and Ulta that I got for my birthday. But just a couple things that I grabbed to show you. I got a YSL Pure Couture lipstick in Rose Stiletto, which I love, love, love. I got... Um, a Givenchy lipstick as well. Um, watch the video. It's just lovely, lovely stuff. <laughs> and I got some serious skincare. There's a lot of skincare this month. Um, the Paracone Blue Plasma Orbital. So this is the kind of exfoliating gel for your eye area. I'm liking that so far. I also got for my hair the Living Proof Satin Hair Serum and I am really, really enjoying this so far. I just wasn't sure if it would be for me and it's good stuff. Um, I really like that line. So for my birthday Sephora haul, oh I also got the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette as part of that birthday haul. And my total, and this is after Ebates and after a gift card that I got from my mom, I spent $161.63. And that was also during the VIB sale, so I got 20% off. So pretty good, right? Okay. I also got something for myself, it was kind of a birthday indulgence at Ulta, and that was the Tarte Gorgeous Getaways set, which I am loving. Like, I love the shadows more than I thought possible. Um, there's also lip glosses in here, and you can pop out the shadows and put them in here, but I have a whole video on this. It's the $12 Lorac Palettes video, um, amazing deals at Ulta. So, of course, I also got these $12 Lorac Palettes, which are really great. Um, there's a ton of product in here. This one is my favorite. This is called Platinum Status, and it's like purpley pink and a nice shiny black. The other one is called Solid Gold, and I like it, except that this gold color just, I think this would be gorgeous for blue-eyed gals. Um, it's not super amazing for me, and it's not my favorite shadow formula ever, so that kind of, that kind of marred the palette for me, but these are a great, great deal. If they still have these at your Ulta, um, definitely check it out, especially get this one if you have blue eyes, but I love this one. While I was there... I picked up totally not fun acetone nail polish remover, and this stuff is more expensive than I thought. This was $4, so <laughs> I guess it is a huge bottle. 
But there you go, that was Ulta. And okay, did I tell you my total for Ulta? It was $64 at Ulta. All right, we are almost finished here. Um, the actual, the, the math stuff wasn't tremendous, but it was a lot of high-end products, a lot of Sephora and Ulta and skincare. Um, I did pick up one great little cheapie, the Target Up and Up Eye Brush, and this was $2.49. I was just in Target, and I was like, I, I want another one of those. They're so cheap. I already have one. As you can see, it's been a month, and I have not opened it, and that's bad, but uh, it's just because I'm lazy. <laughs> I'm just lazy. Okay, and the other thing I should point out is, if you saw the other videos that I've done, um, the monthly hauls, I usually end up going to CVS like three times, four times, and I go to Walgreens, and I go to Target, and you know, get a few little things every time, and it adds up. I did not do that this month. I totally stayed away from drugstore stuff, which is excellent, and you know, a good way to cut down on your shopping and your purchasing is just don't go to the store. <laughs> Stay away from the CVS if you can possibly help it. Okay, so I think I'm on to the very, very, yep, the very, very last thing, and I almost forgot about this because it was sort of random, but for my birthday gift, my husband took me on a little weekend trip to New York, and I was shopping in Macy's, the big old Macy's in Herald Square. I was wandering around the beauty department, which is fantastic, it's so much fun, and I went to the YSL counter and looked at my favorite Rouge Volupte lipsticks, and they had a ton, a ton of colors that are not available at Sephora. And so I found an absolutely perfect, perfect, my lips but better color. It's they don't have names really, but it's number 23 in the Rouge Volupte line. I absolutely love this. Um, so I bought this. This was $34, no discounts, nothing at all. <laughs> but it was the only beauty thing I bought on that trip. It was kind of, you know, my little birthday trip. So I bought that and I'm thrilled with it. All right, that is my November haul. So are you ready for the totals? Here goes. Okay, I feel like there should be a drum roll, but I'm not going to do that. So, the grand total for November for me was $472.95. That was my price of beauty for the month. And of course I bought enough stuff to last me and give me joy for many, many months. And here's the kicker. I have decided that I am going to do a no-buy January and February. No makeup whatsoever. And if, if there's something in skincare that I really, really need that I, I just absolutely run out of, I, I would purchase that. But I will not buy a stitch of makeup. I am committed. That's it. Doesn't matter. I'm not going to do it. Um, people, a lot of people have done a no buy November, which kind of boggles my mind because that's when I know I'm going to make these purchases. I know those are when the sales are. So if you've done that, more power to you. Congratulations. But for me, it's going to be January and February. So these videos are going to be really short <laughs> in the future. But let me break it down just a little bit more if you're curious. For skincare, out of that $472.95, 142.56 was skincare and hair stuff. I did get a few kind of pricier hair things. So for hair it was 64, and the rest of it was makeup or miscellaneous, like the nail polish remover is under the miscellaneous and, and makeup. So that was my total. That is a lot more than I have spent in the previous months where I have actually tracked my spending. But I expected it, and there was birthday involved and. That's what it was. Um, let me know how you keep track of your beauty budget. Do you have a budget? Do you think you spend too much? Do you, I don't know, how do you, how do you manage it? Um, if you want to tell me what you think of me, you can, you can be honest. Um, as, you know, of course, as long as you are engaging in a respectful discussion. Um, I would love to, to discuss this idea of the price of beauty and what we spend. And um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the little kind of Black Friday haul. Tell me what you got on Black Friday, if anything. But let me know uh, if you've tried any of these products, if you got some of the same stuff for Black Friday. Um, and if you want more information or reviews or videos on any of this stuff, please do let me know. I'll answer any of your questions in the comments section. You can tweet me. Um, follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you don't already, and subscribe for more videos like this and more looks and more beauty fun and all sorts of goodness for the month of December that is coming. Alright, thank you so much for watching, thank you for your time, and have a wonderful day.